Hey everybody, what is up? The ITKHQ here, and today we're going to be taking a look at iPhone 6s. So right in front of you, as you guys can see, I've got the 16 gigabyte Space Gray iPhone 6s. Now I'll talk about the 3D Touch feature and the Touch ID 2 features before getting into what's on my iPhone and all the apps. Now Touch ID 2 on the iPhone 6s is blazing fast. You just have to press the home button and that's it. It unlocks the device. It's really, really quick. Next, we'll talk about 3D Touch. Now, 3D Touch, as you guys probably should know, is that you just need to exert a bit of pressure on the surface of your device, and it sort of opens up these contextual menus. The only downside right now is that you can't customize these contextual menus. So, I hope in iOS 10 we get the ability to sort of customize these contextual apps just for the first-party apps, basically. Now, even though I really do enjoy using Apple products without any cases, but you just cannot use an iPhone success without a case. It's really slippery. So I use Apple's silicon case, it works pretty well, and that's pretty much what I would recommend as well. Now taking a look at all of my apps, so again I've got messages, calendar, photos, and then a camera, weather, app store, settings, and then Google Maps. Again, I use Google Maps over App Maps. Then I've got myself the Apple folder where it's just simple crap apps, useless apps, stuff I don't use and these are just the first party of the Apple apps. Uh, hopefully in iOS 10 we get the ability to hide these apps as well. So as you guys can see, and now I do use music app here and there for Beats one, but that's pretty much it. Then I've got myself as the social app, now uh, social folder excuse me, where I've got myself Facebook, WhatsApp, Messenger, Studio, Pages, YouTube, Skype, Retrica and then Instagram. So that's all the social media stuff that I use. And then I've got myself is a random folder. Now in the random folder, I've got Spotify, Shazam, which is for music detection, then Tunnelbeer for VPN, Dropbox, 1Password, VescoCam, which is a very sweet um, photo photography app. Then I've got myself as Yahoo Sports, and then Google Drive, and then Nlight, which is also a good photo editing software. Now I just want to take a look at the Yahoo Sports app because it gives you a very neat little widget for notification center so it just shows me all the fixtures of the EPL so taking a look at some games I do have some games as well so I've got Flappy Birds, AA, Crossy Roads, then that's Speed Test app, Swing 2 and then Solitaire now AA is a game I'm playing right now I'm stuck at level 16 now for well over two days now basically just there's a thing which is revolving I need to put the pins in the middle and just make sure that the pins don't sort of collide with the other pins just like that so I'm stuck at level 16, so yeah, make sure, help me out over here if you can. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it, I've got Crossroads, Speed Test, Swing 2, and Solitaire. Then I've got myself a daily folder, and in daily folder I have Instapaper, for, it's a read it later sort of an app, Clear, SoundCloud, and then iHeartRadio. I sort of use SoundCloud more on the iPhone success. On the dock I've got Phone, Safari, Mail, and the official Twitter app. I hope you guys enjoyed this video everybody and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more iPhone success and also iOS 9.2 jailbreak related content. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you guys all in the next video. Peace out.